a few games I've backed on Kickstarter in the last 18 months and I recently realized that I've never actually spoken that much about them on my channel and all three games look so great and so adorable I knew it was time to dedicate a video to them. First up we have Puff Pals Island Skies. The Kickstarter campaign for Puff Pals Island Skies showed up at just the perfect time. It launched in April 2022 just as the hype from the final update to Animal Crossing New Horizons was winding down and many of us were starting to think what next? At the time there were a bunch of cute games out there but nothing that quite felt like it could be as fun or have the impact of New Horizons. And what we've been able to see so far from Puff Pals Island Skies looks amazing. It's a life slash farming sim with diverse biomes based on magical floating islands that you can explore. Your local village has adorable villagers you can befriend and you can have pets which grow in your farm similar to the way that oblets grow. So cute! The final release of Puff Pals Island Skies will include seasons and weather, fishing, cooking, mini games and so much more. I think there are a few things that make Puff Pals Island Skies stick out. Firstly, the adorable art style looks so cute, fun and unique and it hooked me straight away. The customization with a few things really sticks out too. Firstly with your character and secondly with your homes. The entire game just screams cute to me, which usually is not always something I go for, but in Puff Pals Island Skies, it's just done in a way that seems like something I like. Since the Kickstarter campaign for Puff Pals Island Skies ended, the team have been working really hard and there have been regular updates from them which is so handy. The campaign itself reached over 2.5 million dollars and completely exceeded Fluffness expectations. They have been keeping backers in the loop with what's been going on with development and where they are in terms of the roadmap. The first round of alpha testing is still on track to happen this year, which I am super excited about, and they are still on track for early release of the game in 2024. I am so, so excited to see Puff Pals Island Skies come together, and I am so glad that I backed this gem. I can't wait to see the multiplayer portion of this game too, and how it works, and how well the game will run on PC versus Switch, and also the mobile version that's coming eventually. So far, I have no regrets with backing this game, and at this point, I'm pretty sure the wait will be worth it. I heard about Camper Van Make It Home through Twitter back in March before the Kickstarter campaign had launched and I backed it as soon as I could on the day that the campaign started because I really really want to see this game happen. I think the best way I could describe Camper Van Make It Home is that it's kind of like unpacking a little bit but it's in a camper van. But I compare the two just because of the fact that you're unpacking things because other than that that's where the comparisons end. Camper Van Make It Home has a softer more peaceful art style and you have a little bit more control when it comes to designing your space. Many of the items within your camper van will be interactive, including convertible furniture and zen puzzles that you can unlock. Without dialogue and text, you will head to different destinations, upgrading your camper van slowly along the way. The Kickstarter campaign for Camper Van Make It Home finished in May, reaching a little over 54,000 euros. This was great and it managed to unlock so many different things in stretch goals like pets and a Nintendo Switch port. But the sad part of this is that it was just a few hundred euros away from unlocking full creative mode as a perk. The team at Malapare, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, <laughs> studio have said they would still love to have this happen and include this feature somehow and at the moment are looking for additional funding to try and make that happen. There haven't been many updates so far since the campaign finished, but in their last update in July things sounded very much on track so far for the release on Steam for PC and Mac, plus eventually for Nintendo Switch and mobile platforms. At this point it's scheduled to release in 2024 and I have all my fingers, toes, arms, legs and eyes crossed that we'll see it sometime next year as it looks like such a peaceful dream of a game. The campaign for the third game that I backed on Kickstarter is depending on when I release this video or when you watch it, either still running or just finished. And it's a game that I had been waiting for the campaign to launch for months and I backed it as soon as I woke up that morning because I am so excited for this game. Loftier is an upcoming solar punk MMO farming and life sim with a sustainability message I absolutely love. While you will be creating and designing your home, farm and foraging and exploring, the main goal in this game is to create a sustainable city with others and I think that's just one of the many things that makes this game sound so special. 
The art style for Loftier has a softness to it that I absolutely love. And there are so many features that I love the sound of too. Like there's going to be a thrift store, adventures with friends, player run markets and even flying fish wound turbines. Amazing. And the customization plan for Loftier is pretty huge. Not only loads of options for your character and home, but there are even different types of farming, including hydroponics and community farms. Loftier will be releasing on PC, Mac and Nintendo Switch. And as this is an MMO, the team are hoping that they'll be able to include crossplay, but as it's early days into researching how feasible crossplay will be, this isn't guaranteed yet. The Kickstarter campaign for Loftier has recently surpassed $1 million, which is well over the original $150,000 they were aiming for. And with every stretch goal they surpass, so much more is being added to the game. And I have my fingers crossed and my arms, legs, eyes and toes again <laughs> that they reach their 1.1 million stretch goal before the campaign finishes as unlocking an adventure building in Loftier would be so great. At the moment, Loftier is planned for release in December 2025 and I hope they can make that target as I am looking forward to playing it so much. There is just so much to look forward to in this game and with the message behind it, it's so, so good. Thank you so much for watching. Did you back any of these games or have you backed any games on Kickstarter yourself? Are you looking forward to playing any of these games? Do like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet. Stay fresh, cheers bags. Bye.